guys, Tasha here with Busy Modern Mom. Welcome to my channel if you're new. If not, thanks for watching again. Today I'm bringing you a Rite Aid haul. I am sitting out front of Rite Aid. I have my coupon planner. I have quite the list of things I want to get. It should be pretty good deals. We don't have any in ad boosters this week, but I did get to spend 55 get $11 off paper boosters from the Catalina. If you do not have those, you can use the 5 off 25 and 5 off 15 that Real Deals has posted in her community tab here on YouTube. So definitely check that out. <laughs> Anyways, so we have the 500 subscriber giveaway happening. We are getting pretty close. We're getting close to 400 subscribers. So make sure you like and subscribe to this video so you don't miss that when we have that. All right, let's go in the store. So I have to spend 55 after my load to cart coupons to use this. So I'm going to do quite a bit high cost overall. I am rolling bonus cash, so I'm not too worried about it. But I am starting here in the diaper aisle. The Huggies are not marked, but they are buy two for $20. So I am going to get two. You get $6 back in bonus cash, limit two. And I have a dollar back on Alexa, which will make it $13 for two packs or $6.50 each. If you have a fetch Huggies, rewards program going on you can track towards a bonus i've already reached all mine so i'm all out but as you can see everybody's pretty much bought the huggies so i'm just gonna get two packs probably the size six and two <laughs> i'm gonna get two of these colgate 360 toothbrushes they are 5.49 each which will bring them to about 11 bucks i have a four dollar digital coupon and i have four dollars back we'll get in bonus cash which will make them about three dollars and this is my couponing planner I use. I have a link in my description for this. It is on Amazon. One of my friends from Love Live Safe made this and I love it. I haven't used it for a couple of weeks because I honestly got super distracted, but it's so much easier to organize and group things and use in store. I'm gonna get two of these Colgate totals for $4.89. These will end up having a $4 digital coupon for them and $4 back in bonus cash, which will make these, I believe like $1.50. <sighs> I did my numbers based off what was online, so these are definitely cheaper. It just says the coupon needs to 2.1. Nothing's marked for bonus cash for some reason, so I may have to reach out to customer service. We'll see what happens. I did check the Rite Aid website before I came in. So these Playtex are supposed to be two for 16. I have a dollar back on each on Ibotta and a $2 digital coupon, which will make them $12 or $6 each. They're also not marked, so this is gonna be fun. <laughs> checked online so these ones should be the right ones they are part of a spend at 30 get ten dollars back with the chic and schizomint product products which is what i'm going for now all right so i'm gonna get two of these i have a four dollar digital coupon on the writing app and i have this four dollar paper coupon i printed from the coupons.com app if you don't have that you can submit to shopio or alexa whichever coupon rebate app you enjoy and i'm gonna finish out the spend 30 with this I don't know. Dry skin one for $3.49. I have a dollar digital coupon on my rate app, making it $2.49. And I should get the $10 on bonus cash back for spending $30 on the Schick Skin Tomate and the Playtex. Alright, so this is everything I am getting during this transaction, and then the shoe toothpaste underneath there. So let's see how it goes. Alright, guys, so I am sitting in my car. I'm just going to show you my receipt right now. So here's everything I ended up getting. As you can see, all of my digital coupons came off, no issue, which was wonderful the play text didn't ring up the eight dollars each two for 16 although it was not marked the huggies rang up the two for 20 which was also not marked my total ended up being 43 23 out of pocket i rolled bonus cash that i had on this account see as you can see i used 43 dollars 23 in bonus cash and i earned back 16 dollars in bonus cash which we're going to talk about right now all right so the retail total for everything I purchased sale price was $73.23. My subtotal, as you saw, was $43.23. I earned back $16 in bonus cash. I did not get the bonus cash for the Colgate. I was supposed to get $4 bonus cash for the Colgate toothpaste and $4 for the two toothbrushes. So I am going to reach out to customer service. I've never had an issue with them not crediting the bonus cash when i've reached out via email i always suggest to do it via email you can go on and it says like um contact us and there's a little form and it emails them and they'll email you back sometimes it takes like a week sometimes a day or two 
but I've never had an issue. So I would suggest that instead of waiting on hold for like six hours of your life. <laughs> so I am going to submit for the $8 in bonus cash back, which will bring my total to $24 in bonus cash. I submitted to Ibotta a dollar each for the play tax. So that gave me an additional $2 back, which brought my grand total to $17.23 cost for this transaction, which honestly isn't that bad as the diapers were marked two for 20. So it's still cheaper. The diapers are on sale, like better discount. And then we ended up getting everything else free, which is a bunch of dental stuff. The two Playtex razors, definitely a great deal. The Playtex were two for 16 on sale. So overall, great. I'm pretty pumped, which ends up being a 77% savings. I ended up getting two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven items for seventeen twenty-three. I am beyond pumped. I almost said breast. <laughs> I'm beyond pumped. Um, so definitely, definitely check out Rite Aid. Even though there's not an in-ad booster, if you have some bonus cash rolling around, you can roll it into a transaction, still not pay out of pocket or pay significantly less than you would anticipate. It's definitely worth it to go in. I'm going to be going, obviously, to Rite Aid later this week as well. I need to finish my bonus cash challenges on my personal account. I haven't done that yet, so I'm hoping to do some paper products later in the week. But definitely don't forget to like and subscribe so you can stay tuned so you don't miss that. I am planning on doing a Walmart. I bought a rebate haul as well as my usual Walgreens haul this week. So definitely stay tuned. I'll see you guys next time.